So this week, we did nominations for Prom King and Queen. Now, seriously, what is happening? Because we have never had Prom never King and Queen. Before. Like, since, like, the 80s. Like, the 80s. Like, ancient times, man. Yeah, like, totally when people used to tease their hair. Yeah, like, hair. Hair. Like, their hair. Like, hairspray to the max. Yeah. So why now? Why now? Like, what do you think? Like, I don't I, know. I have no idea. It just is completely insane to me. And we have ill feelings because we weren't nominated. Yes. <laughs> we were not nominated. <laughs> but you know what? I don't, I don't even need the love because we have love from you. We have love from love y'alls from at you. home. <laughs> but it's fine. So anyway, we'll just talk to someone about it and maybe they'll tell us more about it and make us a, a little more clear about the whole situation. It's not fair, man. It's not maybe fair. It's okay. We have each other. Oh my God. Check out this interview about prom king and queen. Hello, viewers. I'm joined today with the senior class representative. Rep representative Miss Nkati, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. How are yeah, you? I'm doing good. Good. Uh, I understand this week uh, the seniors voted for prom king and queen. Can you tell us a little bit how it was started? Yeah, they did. Well, a few months ago, um, we had decided, uh, Miss Harris and I had decided that we wanted to do prom king and queen. And it's something that Norristown has never done. And we've both been advisors before and we haven't been a part of that process. I know Norristown has had homecoming queen, queen and king, but we've never done prom queen and king. And it's something that the both of us have experience with, just not with Norristown. Uh, so we wanted to go ahead and do it um, at the high school mm -hmm. and we just had to arrange dates and how we were going to go about the process. And this past week, uh, we voted for our top 15. So we're excited. Top 15. Now, candidates, that's a, yeah. That's a pretty big list. It was a huge okay. list. And really, we started the process off by just giving forms to the homeroom students um, for seniors. And they could list any person out of the whole senior class to be nominated for prom queen or prom king. Mm -hmm. So they could write down any name. And when the votes came in, uh, it took us a long time to tally up all the names that were listed um, because there were people on there that maybe not were would have not been on the list had we done like a top five. So it was really nice for us to see students' names who possibly aren't the most popular on the list because we did top 15. So it, right. it was really cool to see. So is the, the list going to be knocked down to 10 and then to five? So from here, what's going to happen is uh, we got the top 15. We called those 15 in. They had to sign a waiver to say that they would agree to campaign. So they have until May 5th to campaign mm -hmm. um, to be selected for the top five. And at that point in time, there's going to be a top five. So five candidates for prom queen and five candidates for prom king. And after that, we're going to announce the winner at, um, at prom that night. Right. So how do students go about campaigning? We gave them a list of recommended ideas. Um, campaigns can be as easy as you create posters, you put them around the school, um, you give a speech to the senior class in homerooms or at lunch, um, you get like a Facebook page or a Twitter page and, and try to get votes on there. Mm -hmm. um, we just made sure that the top 15, A, you had to agree to campaign, and B, your campaign has to be clean. Right. which means Definitely. that you are not campaigning against someone else, which literally you are because mm -hmm. it's a competition. Mm -hmm. um, but it, we really want you campaigning about the positives about you, not the negatives about one of the other candidates. So. Right. That's good. Yeah. For the students who want homecoming queen and king, uh, are they allowed to possibly win again? Well, what's really interesting about that is that Megan and Zach uh, came to us after we called in about 20 of the top students who were nominated for candidates. Uh, we called them all in a room when we were about ready to tell them that they were um, possibly part of the top 15. And Megan and Zach were. They were voted by many people uh, to be a part of the candidates for yeah. prom king and queen. And they approached us and said, we would really like to take ourselves out of the running, right. which as a teacher, that's really respectful of them. Uh, we were really 
that we were re we really appreciated that from mm -hmm. them. So they asked if they could be removed from the list of candidates because they felt it was unfair mm -hmm. to their classmates and that's really big of them. So yes. they did. They removed their self, themselves from the list when very possibly they could have been crowned at prom. Right. Uh, so we've asked them to do the honor of crowning prom king and queen at the prom. So right. that's our way of thanking them. So that was really, really nice. Right. Do you have some words of encouragement to those who are campaigning and really like to win there and have a competitive spirit? Yeah. Uh, we only have a few months of the school year left and it's your senior year and what a fun way to go out and mm -hmm. that is you campaign for you. You let this school know exactly who you are, what you're about, um, show the school your best qualities um, and there's no better way to do it than to campaign. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what's, you know, what's in store for them. Right, so. All the candidates are very creative. So I don't know what is going to happen. I know the hallways are going to be full of posters mm -hmm. and banners, um, but I'm hoping that some of the seniors do something really unique and creative. You're right. Uh, when is the next voting taking place? Next voting is May 5th in Homeroom. Okay. So from now until May 5th, the campaigning is on, um, and then May 5th in homeroom, we're going to have those top 15, right. and students are going to have to choose top five right. um, out of the 15, and then those top five at that time um, come to prom, mm -hmm. and then we'll go ahead and crown them from there. Mm -hmm. And what makes this interesting is that MTV Made um, approached us after we started the process of um, thinking of the campaigning and the nominees for prom king and queen and said, are you planning to do a court for prom? And we said, yes. And they're like, okay, well, then we are going to go ahead with the twilight to see if, um, we can use one of your seniors for MTV mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've heard people in the hallways and seniors say, are you, oh, you're only doing this for MTV, and that's absolutely untrue. Right. This is something that Ms. Harris and I wanted to do from the beginning of the school year. Uh, we wanted to make prom different. We wanted to go ahead with a court for a prom king and queen, mm -hmm. um, and it just so happens that one of our seniors went out on a limb, uh, sent stuff to MTV Made, was possibly chosen, and then they've been in the building uh, filming, which is really, really cool. Right. Um, and another thing that's really cool about it is the student that was chosen for possibly to be on MTV Made isn't one of the most outgoing, isn't one of the most popular mm -hmm. students in our senior class. Right. And when we read votes um, to choose the top 15, she had quite a number of votes, mm -hmm. which, is, which was great for us to see, but also interesting at the same time right. um, that she who feels like an underdog received a lot of votes. So it's gonna be a very fair uh, race. Mm -hmm. um, she also has to campaign uh, just like the others and the votes won't lie. So right. the numbers will tell us mm -hmm. who, who will be crowned on prom night. Right. Do you have a set date for prom yet? We do, it's May 17th, May 17th. at Westover Country Club. Okay. So we're hoping if MTV runs with, with this uh, show, They'll be there, but if they won't, we are planning to do our prom king and queen uh, crowning anyway, so. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm glad that we could start the trend because I'm a senior myself. Yeah. Do you think this trend will carry on over the years? I hope so. Uh, we've talked to the juniors and I teach freshmen, so mm -hmm. of course I talk to them about it and everyone's very excited for it. So mm -hmm. it's something unlike homecoming, um, homecoming court and being crowned for homecoming. Mm -hmm. um, it's as desirable, only we have them campaigning. So it really is a competition. And you don't wanna say it's a popularity contest, but it is. Right. It's a competition amongst, se amongst seniors and they have to do a really good job at getting people to vote for them, so. Mm. How do you think this helps the school? Oh, just camaraderie of getting the seniors together and healthy competition is always good. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I think a lot of students try to steer away from but it is really good. It's like Mr. Norris Town. It's a, such a fun event. Mm -hmm. People like to come see it. Mm -hmm. Well, we're hoping that uh, the prom court and campaigning becomes something that is really fun to do in the school. Mm -hmm. And it may involve um, 
or it may evolve into something where seniors are giving speeches and they invite people to um, see them do some kind of act or so who knows how it's going to develop over the right. next couple years but i'm excited to be the first you know to help the first class out with um doing this right is there anything else you would like to add no that's it let's just keep it fun and clean right. and i can't wait to see who the top five are and i hope that over the next month that uh, we see a lot of healthy competition. Thank you for joining us today. Sure, thank you, BJ. I'm BJ. Here's the list of the top 15 boys and girls, prom king and queen, and back to the Eagles' eye.